Welcome to the white stains on your nails guide. I'm going to go over the most common causes of ugly white stains that appear on your toenails and your fingernails, especially after you remove nail, toenail polish and what to do about them. So the most common thing is the most unknown thing, keratin granulations. This is just a fancy name for the protein that makes up your nails getting dehydrated after drying out, after overworking them, after removing nail polish. And it kind of looks ugly like this, white, flaky. If you try and scrape it, like a chalk-like substance comes off. And the main treatment guide is going to be on how to deal with this. The second most common thing, maybe even the first most common, but just the least reported, is leukonychia. You know when you stub your toenail finger or something hard falls on them, you just get like a white crack? This is the same principle as keratin granulations, except you injure it. There's not much you can do about it. Think of it as a scar of your nail. And I'll tell you how long it takes to grow that out, but you shouldn't really do anything about this. Nothing dangerous is going to happen. Just let it grow out. And then kind of the most dangerous is superficial white onychomycosis. I'm going to say this. You should probably go... If you think it's something strange going on, you should go see your podiatrist or your uh, dermatologist. But if you try the keratin granulations for treatment for a couple of weeks, probably nothing bad will happen to you. But otherwise, there's no way to tell specifically if it is fungus versus those other things unless you, you know, evaluate it with a doctor. So the causes are leukonychia, granulations, fungus, and systemic. But I won't get into systemic because you already know you're sick if you have these. Nails can grow one millimeter per day, and it takes about six to nine months for your nails to grow. And the only way to really get them to grow faster is as you're healthier, your metabolism's higher in the summer, they can grow 50% faster. But otherwise, you know, just stay healthy. So the primary treatment for treating keratin granulations are, number one, moisturize your nails. Any type of moisturizing cream is better than no moisturizing cream. Vaseline, petroleum jelly, things like that are fantastic. Just rub them into the nail at the end of the night. You know, put a Band-Aid on maybe. You don't even need to, but in case you're afraid of getting it on your sheets. In one to two weeks, it'll start looking better. Cuticle waxes. Like, there are many available. I'm not going to mention any specifics, but rub these on again. Same thing. You're moisturizing. You're using the cuticle waxes. And the nail polish... You can still use it. It's not a big deal. It's not going to destroy your nails, but it's not going to get better right away. You know, the nail polish has toxic substances in it that dehydrate nails. Dehydrate your nails. Secondary treatments are wear some gloves if you're, you know, doing heavy duty stuff with your nails that could get them injured. Avoid overusing them if you're a construction worker, whatever. Take some vitamins. Now the vitamins thing. There's not a clear consensus. There's no exact studies that say you need vitamin E, you need biotin, which are the two that are recommended by most magazines, health magazines. But it's just kind of like testimonials, and people recommend it. But again, no direct evidence, but hey, there's none for parachutes either. And drink lots of water, just stay healthy. And if you guys want to learn any more on how to help your nails, come to DetroitFootPain.com on our uh, white stains page on your nails page do not try any of this at home alone without supervision this is presented by michigan foot doctors if you think our information helped you give us a thumbs up and come visit the site for even more